That's how Fish went into space. Should run away at the first boundary of our match today off the bat of Gabby Lewis, unsurprisingly. Yeah, just the length of the delivery was able to get under it. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Easy, breezy, another boundary. That's Ariel. Dr. Yells have catch it. Someone's underneath it. Oh, difficult chance. Uh, Trebika Gajnabi. Reverse. Sweet shot. Well, there's no catch in that. Absolutely not. Another boundary off the bat of Gab Lewis. He tries the same shot again. Big appeal and given. It's a strike back from Haley Matthews on the very next ball. Gabby Lewis has gone early. Yeah, maybe just overconfident there, Gabby Lewis. She's already gotten nine runs from this over. So was that necessary? She'll be asking herself. This one's been swung away. Leg side. It's going to be four runs. Amy Hunter now picking up the mantle from where Gabby Lewis has left off. Cherry Ann Fraser just angling the ball in, and she's decided to open up her arms and hit that over the vacant leg side area. Results in another boundary for the Irish. This time she goes straight high, but not far enough. Picks out the fielder, Chanel Henry at mid on. Hunter has to go. Almost looked like he took the toe of the bat, Shakira. And it seems to have held up quite a bit in the wind as well. Arna Bahar is clearly deciding to take the attack to West Indies. This one, she finds the gap square though. Sived away. Will it get to the boundary? It does. So Delaney gets off the mark with a boundary. Her first delivery. Good start from the skipper. But advancing is Pendergrass. Fletcher with a bit of work to do. Gets around quite quickly. Two runs added to the total. So you're seeing this positive intent. This one's pulled high, top edged, and taken. Rashada Williams, it looks like, at mid wicket. Comfortable catch. So another almost set Irish batter has to go. The talismanic Orla Pendergrass. Big wicket in the, in the scheme of things for the West Indies. Oh, just over the both of them. And here's the boundary to finish the over. She's done so well. It's actually six now from the over. 12 gone, 67 for three. Well, goes to the offside again. And this time, she'll find the boundary. Much needed runs for Ireland, much needed runs for Richardson. And she picks up her first wicket in T20 Internationals. Ash Mini Munasar, well done. Really as well deserved. She was very threatening, stayed on the stumps all innings. Kept asking the batters to play. Well, hard, but not impossible. That one is going to find its way into the boundary. A fantastic shot by Stokel. Come on, Fletch. Come on, Fletch. Yeah, I was thinking it was going to be hard because they would have been going against the spin. But that one, not spinning as much. Catch it, catch it. Well, she targets that leg side, but can only find the hands of Shabika Gajnabi. And that is going to be the first wicket for Afi Fletcher. Deciding to continue to target that leg side. And only manages to find Shabika Gajnabi. But an excellent piece of bowling by Afi Fletcher as well. Advances again. This time hit quite sweetly straight. It's going to be six as well. First six of the innings coming in this at the end of the 17th, actually. 18 gone. 97 for five. Very cheeky, very cheeky from Arlene Kelly. And picks up another boundary. 
And adds to that total. 100 comes up for the Irish. She's gone straight and hard again. Once again from Laura Delaney. Now starting to find the boundary more regularly. Yeah, almost through the hands of the captain as well. Driven back and driven back firmly. This one, she just pats back quite tamely to Haley Matthews. So a quite enterprising innings from Delaney has come to an end. Partnership of 28 ended now. Canning goes high. She picks out the long on fielder though. So she will have to go. Really had no other option, to be honest. Just looking to get bat on ball. Just two deliveries remaining now in this innings. Canning departs, 111 for seven. Just the one delivery for Louise Little. She advances quite hard down to Gajnabi on the long on boundary. It's going to be just one run. The end of the Irish innings. They close on 112 for seven. Yeah, a few starts from a number of players. Hunter Lewis getting into double figures. But then it was Delaney to the back end of things who really took on the bowlers. Mayor Richardson with 22. at that, Matthews, being chased down, and they'll pick up a couple there to win the over. One over gone, West Indies seven without loss. Oh, some confusion, there's some confusion here, she's got to run back, oh, direct hit, she'll be gone and she's gone. Well, she can't believe it, she looks to the heavens, but Rashida Williams, in confusion, got stranded and we'll have to make the long walk back. A little bit too ambitious, I reckon, for Rashida Williams. The single was never on. This one's a bit too short, though. Will it get to the boundary? It will. So Gajnabi picks up her first boundary of her innings, moving on to 10 now. A swing and a miss, and Gajnabi just edges out of her crease. And West Indies now lose their second. She got hold of that one, Chanel Henry. When she gets hold of it, it goes all the way. Second boundary of the innings. It's that easy power once again, especially through the offside. She favors the offside. Got the length that she liked quite full in her half. Well, all the way down, how's that? Well, she's slammed her hands down. It looks like she's gone. Well, this run outs keep happening. West Indies have lost another. Another via the run out route. Looks like it's going up to the third umpire. Yeah, he did. Umpire Butler did signal for the third umpire. Chanel Henry looks convinced. Yeah, she's gone. Amy McGuire. Her hands at this. Haley Matthews got away with it. A frustrated boundary off the bat of the captain. Yeah, very good batting though from Haley Matthews there, using the depth of the crease quite well. Fair decision in the end. Back over the bowler's head off the bat of the captain for another boundary. That is more Haley Matthews esque. And it has been a high traffic area, actually, in this match. You think back to Laura Delaney's innings, hit quite a few straight back down the ground. No fielders in that position. Oh, no, and she's taken quite easily. A comfortable catch in the end to dismiss the captain. Well, she looks very disappointed. Yeah, it looks like Ema Richardson there taking what is a pretty crucial catch in the circumstances. Big appeal off the first ball and given. Well, Arlene Kelly's trapped her, the youngster. 
and she goes first ball. She looks absolutely bewildered. She looks amazed. Not sure if she got a little inside edge on that one. Let's see that one again. No, actually looked. Wicket between wicket and wicket. Zeta James has to go. Gone. Elegant. Very elegant from Afi Fletcher. First touch. Pick up a couple. Oh, it looks like they're running for the third. Don't get three. Very well run there by Shemaine Campbell. Pushing Afi Fletcher back for that third. Well, a much needed boundary, and this will ease the pressure for the West Indies ladies. Improvisation from Afi Fletcher. A really good shot. Where did that come from? Picks up a boundary, a much needed boundary to release some of this pressure. She's perhaps the best player of shots like this in this West Indies setup. She practices this more often than any other shot. Yeah! And she's bold. A swing and a miss. And Amy Maguire makes the breakthrough for Ireland. And this is her maiden T20 international wicket. And what a time for that wicket to come. Breaking the crucial partnership. Leading bowler for the Irish so far. Three for 17 she has for her three overs. Yeah, swing and it just beats the field a backward point. There's a giving chase. Very good fielding effort. Also needs to get two runs. Yeah, swing and a miss beats both wicket keeper and batter. They run one, they come back for two. They're looking for the third. Fraser will have to dive, but the umpire has put up the dreaded finger. Fraser does not get there in time. West Indies. Is this required? I don't think so. West Indies clearly panicking. They set up for an exciting final over. Seven runs required for six deliveries. And will they run? They muster, they muster through. It's a throw to the non-strikers end, but Shamila Connell, well, she gets there safely. Yeah, swing from and Campbell doesn't make connection. There's an appeal, there's an appeal. And the finger goes up from umpire Jacqueline Williams. And Cara Murray, well, she strikes from a straight delivery to Shamila Connell. Sure, Campbell is saying, make contact. A brilliant shot, brilliantly played through the offside. They run one, they run two. Ashmini Munisa, captain of the West Indies under 19 team. Does she have it? Yeah, they scamper through for a single. A dive in the end, and a very good dive by young Munisa. Yeah, it's a wide delivery. Confirmation from the umpire. So scores are level. Cara Murray, what have you just done? How could you? How could you? One field on the boundary. One from one. A swing from Campbell, but they plan to just run this through. And Westernese, they've made it through. Shemaine Campbell and Ashmini Munisar and Westernese. Well, it was a bit of worry, but they have now won this first match. And they will be thanking Carol Murray for that wide. But relief on the face of Shamir Campbell. She played a vice captain's knock, raised her hand as a senior player. Who's oh, inside edge? Well, she'll be happy and grateful for that, um, Amy Hunter. She'll get four for it. Yeah, fortuitous from Amy Hunter. Oh. 
Oh, some confusion. Chance for a run out here. I know they like it. They finger up. Oh. They're gonna go. They're gonna go to the third umpire. Good sharp work in the field from the Windies. A really good work from Cherry and Fraser. They always say, don't run on a misfield. All right, we have a look at this. It was a really sharp throw collected by Shemaine Campbell. Good take from the wicket keeper and out. Out by a long way. A really good balance from Campbell, getting herself into position for that return from Cherry and Fraser. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, this is just, oh, this is soft. Lobbed. Into the offside, she cannot believe it. Looks to the heavens, but she's got to go for the gas. And Matthews strikes. Well, she usually destroys off spin, all up the gas. But Haley Matthews, well, she has been perfect throughout this series. A brilliant catch. Yes. Oh, she got hold of that one though. Beautiful shot from Amy Hunter. Four to finish. That's four gone. Ireland 22 for two. Yeah, releasing a bit of pressure there, Amy Hunter. She set up for that. She loved it. Got down on one knee, up and over. And it's a good-looking boundary from Hunter. A bit of improvisation there. Struck it well. And a welcome boundary for the Irish. Oh, she had a lot of time there, Amy Hunter. Looking supremely comfortable, and even though Matthews puts her body on the line, that's another boundary off the bat of Hunter. That was extremely well done by Hunter. She wanted to play on the onside and just delayed her stroke for a second and hit it for down the third man for four. 11 overs gone, 54 for two. A fantastic catch, you must say, from Shemaine Campbell. One of the best you will ever see. Oh, look at that. She just grabbed that one mid-air. A leap to her left. Brilliantly taken. An inspired bowling change results in the wicket. Down the track and slapped. And that is what they need. And that is what they get. Emma Richardson coming out with clear instructions to increase that scoring rate. Oh, this could be trouble. This will be trouble. And she is out of here. Richardson. It appears if they just crossed, maybe. With Richardson getting into the crease. Well, this was confusion. An easy pickup for Affie Fletcher. Oi. A substantial Oi. partnership. Oh, it's another run out. Not sure what Emma Richardson was thinking on that occasion. The ball was hit directly to Afi Fletcher at a short mid-wicket inside the circle. And she's run out at the non-striker's end, Stacian. It's a carbon copy of that Delaney Richardson run out. Very similar. This one's hit hard, straight. Can't quite... Oh, and it's going to be four. It looked like she had done all the hard work in getting there, but couldn't quite stop that one. Another boundary to the Irish. Seven now in this innings. Yeah, driven powerfully as well. This one's been smeared through the onside. Fantastic power from Stoko. Another boundary. This one's been hit and hit well up and over the offside power once again on show from the Irish another boundary and Kelly getting in on the action as well backing to the leg side and opening up that scoring option on the offside this time it looks like it's a bit of glove on that one She's walking, Arlene Kelly has to go. So another wicket. Well, the first to Sherry Ann Fraser, going with that short ball tactic once again. Yeah, maintaining that line, bowling to the batter's body. 
She had to find something to do all in Kelly. She goes for 13, 1-1-3 one, one, for 6. Yeah, they tend to bowl a bit fuller at the death, but here she's gone short. Will she go short again? Yes, she does. No contact made, and it's going to be another run out. So yet another run out for the Irish here. Stoko run out of the final delivery of the innings, 113 for seven. Just one better than they would have gotten in the previous match. And West Indies women, well, they'll think that it's a good score once again to chase. Well, this was Ireland's batting. Hunter starting with a career best in 33 in the series, 33 from 35. So they have to keep the pressure on, have to feel well, and would have loved to take a couple of wickets early. So classical. Hayley Matthews into the offside. Just fantastic to watch. It's a race on the ball. Looks to have won the race. First boundary of the innings. We've said it over and over, Alex. What a class player. Yeah, a, a beautiful again. Over the point boundaries, the second four for Hayley Matthews. That is Hayley Matthews at her best. Oh, beautiful shot. It was only a matter of time until she connected and nobody moved. Beautiful cover drive from Hayley Matthews. That was hit with tremendous power up and over extra cover. Have a look at this, Alex right in the arc and she's very strong through the offside what a shot that's Haley matthews at her fluent best look at her stride and it's through the gap will it get to the boundary it does so a flurry of boundaries now for the west indies the first for rashada williams that one more of a chance. It looks like Amy McGuire at Batwer Point. This one's been hit through that onside this time from Matthews. Really liking the batting conditions here, just allowing her to play through the line. Just having a, sm a laugh there, telling Rashida Williams that she fell over a little bit while playing that shot. Still pretty well placed. This one's been hit quite hard. Has it carried? The Irish think it has. Gabby Lewis, low to her left. Matthews is standing around. Matthews is still there. She's not sure whether it's carried. The Irish, though, they're pretty confident. It'll be a big wicket in the circumstances if that catch was taken. Here is again, legal delivery, well behind that popping crease. And there's Gabby Lewis, you can see her crouching low already, anticipating. And there we have it. Has it carried? It looks like it has. She's gotten those fingers under it. Umpire Williams is saying that she's seeing some bit of the ball on the ground, probably when it just popped back out there from Gabby Lewis. And she has given it not out. Big, big decision here in the grand scheme of things. Matthews stays though. She survives 22 of 16. Run scoring proving to be really difficult for the Irish, especially early. That's soft. That is soft indeed. Rashada Williams almost just drifting out of her crease there. Not sure what you make of that one, Shakira. It's almost as though she lost her focus after that little break. There's that shape again, but Haley Matthews holds her shape quite well. Deposited, deposited. Down to long on for four. Matthews looking imperious. Really good position. And just a, an extension of the arms over mid on. I did say she loved this pace. That boundary brings up a fifth, the 50 for West Indies. Uh, 
There's that shape again, but Haley Matthews holds her shape quite well. Deposited, deposited down to long on for four. Matthews looking imperious. Very cheeky, very sensible from Matthews, giving Chase Richardson, but the ball gets to the rope before. She looks to be in fantastic touch, Haley Matthews. Well, Haley Matthews is just having a blinder of an innings. She dismisses this one for a boundary. And quite rightly so. It was a full toss from Kelly. Well, that single brings up Haley Matthews, a 50. 50 to the captain. That's her father, Michael Matthews, here to witness his daughter and captain of this West Indies team. Her teammates, well, they're enjoying this, but it's not over yet. Certainly not over yet. But it has been a responsible innings by the skipper. Oh, that's just cut away and really easily taken. Yeah, annoyed, Matthews. A very easy catch at point. And that brings Haley Matthews' innings to an end. That enterprising half century comes to an end. Captain Delaney into the attack. Oh, and all this time. It's a full toss <laughs> and clears the boundary with ease, easy power off the bat of Chanel Henry. Yeah, that's something we've seen throughout this series, ODIs and T20s, that easy power, this time through the onside. Well, another full toss, this one now beaten back down the ground and will finish in a four. What an expensive over in the end for the Irish. 13 off it, 16 gone, West Indies 105 for two. You stay, Mali. A hit upish, is there a chance? It just drops short of the fielder and it runs into the boundary ropes and takes that total to win down to four. Looks like prime the gas down on the long off boundary. Running in hard, trying to turn that one into an opportunity. Not getting there. Well, she's in a hurry, Janelle Henry. She finishes this one with a four straight down the ground. West Indies women win this match by eight wickets. But what a cameo this has been from Janelle Henry and Shabika Gajnabi. Well, this is the result of the second T20 International. Ireland woman. Oh, it's a big swing. That's well struck into the onside. Should run away. Yeah, Janaba Joseph is in chase, but to the boundary, the first boundary of the innings. Yeah, I like this approach. Just releasing the pressure for dot balls prior. This one just short of a length from Connell and pulled into the leg side and the well, ball wins the race into the boundary. Oh, she's got hold of that one again and that will be another boundary to four more. So eight off the over. Good start from Amy Hunter. One gone. Uh, Ireland eight without loss. Oh, it's another appeal. Oh, she's got her again. The same way she did in the second T20. I, Gabby Lewis has got to go LBW Matthews first ball. Yeah, you can see the disappointment. She knows that she has just fall to Matthews again. She's fall to that trap, playing across the line to a straight delivery. Oh, she's getting onto it, Hunter. That is, might be all the way. That is a big six. Boy, she unleashed into the onside. Well, Shamila Connor will have to recheck that plan of bowling these short deliveries. It's a third boundary she's been hit for. And from a young Amy Hunter, this time a maximum. 
Oh, like that lifted gorgeously. Straight down the ground, there's a fielder after it. But that's six more off the bat of Amy Hunter. Four gone, 27 for one. Yeah, precisely like this. Back yourself to play your shots. Back your strength. An amazing shot once again from young Amy Hunter. This one's been hit hard over that offside. Pendergrass now, she's get picked up her first boundary. Runs coming more regularly for the Irish now. And Prendergast finally able to make the contact that she's been trying to make all series long. This one swung away. It's going to be Cono at that fine leg boundary. So more runs for Amy Hunter. She's been severe on anything short. Well, she's been playing beautifully. And that's lovely, gorgeous, swept backward of square for four more. Nine gone. Ireland move on to 64 for one. There's a question here. There's a might be run out. It is a run out. Fantastic stuff. Ashmini Munisar can hardly believe it. It's, it's a terrible way to go. Well, they're going to go upstairs, aren't they? They're going to double check with Amy Hunter. Oh, it would be a real pity for her to end her innings like that. But she is walking. Did she get a hand to it? There oh. it goes. Oh. Yes. Looks so. S certainly got a hand to it. And look at Jacqueline Williams, the umpire. Oh, dear. Not only has Amy Hunter walked off, it looks like everyone's got to go. Another shower here. The summer showers in the Caribbean, they come and go very quickly. So hopefully this won't last too long. Money start to continue. No overs lost. Oh, oh, that's up and over. Good attempt to hold on to that. I believe that's Shamilia Connell, but a boundary off the first ball back. No overs lost. The tempo is still the same. Up and over. Tried in vain. Oh, but the ball seems to have gone down the drain. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at his journey. It just took a little roll and then it just slipped into the drain. Ah, oh, that was very satisfying to watch. Oh. And a brilliant bit of work. And that is Richardson gone. Pretty brilliant work by Shimmy and Campbell behind the stumps. That one from Unisar, quite full, sneaking under the back. One's been hit hard and straight, mid off in the circle. It's going to beat Gajnabi. So, four runs to Delaney. Her first four of this innings, she's gotten her innings started. Yeah, good option in terms of scoring. Advances and goes straight. Knows where those feelers are out. Gajnabi didn't have a chance. is going to be close. Oh, and Fletcher can't quite gather. Delaney looked dead there. But the West Indies outfielding just letting them down on that occasion. Yeah. This one's high. Yeah, yeah. Is it long enough? It's not. The fielder settles. Gajnabi takes the catch. All of Prendergrass will have to go. Big wicket for the West Indies. Well, Fletcher has made amends. Missed the run out the previous ball. And this time around, luring Ola Prendergast into a big shot. Didn't quite get enough of it. And that's been caught, has it? Brilliant catch from Afi Fletcher, diving away to her right. Or seem to have injured herself as well, Afi Fletcher. But the brilliance of this catch. Matthews again with a good delivery and pulling into the leg side. Looking to do the same here. But she's up against Haley Matthews and she's going to have to depart. So the class.
coming to the fore here. Hayley Matthews picking up her third wicket. Arlene Kelly going first delivery, Stacey Ann. Yeah, another excellent delivery. Wicket to wicket from Matthews. This is what she has done really well. Hat trick ball. <laughs> and she gets it through the gate. Hayley Matthews. Jubilant. The West Indies a cock a hoop with that one. A hat trick here at the Darren Sami cricket ground. Canning has to go. Well, it's almost as though she can do no wrong, Hayley Matthews. This one's been hit high. Carries all the way to that deep square leg boundary. Looks like Connell taking that comfortable catch. So the eighth wicket down now for the Irish. Struggling to get to 120, Stacey. Yeah, well, pace is clearly working. Didn't seem quite comfortable, Dempsey, with that delivery, that rising delivery. Gone off with an injury there. Oh, no run to end, though. Pretty good. Oh, it's going to be a check here. Standing at square leg, Jonathan Blades goes upstairs. Yeah, just looks to have made it back in time, but... Oh, but... Amali? <laughs> Stacey, I would not want to be Dayton Butler on this one. Are the Bales out of the groove? He's going to give it out. So, a wicket to, to Sherry Ann Fraser to end. Ireland end on 116 for eight... For nine, sorry. West Indies will need 117 to win in their 20 overs. Oh, that's, that, that looks like it sounded something. Yeah, bold. It was a good one. Or is it caught behind, it looks like? Some confusion. Some confusion is how she, how she got out. I heard something. Let's have a look. Good delivery. Look at that drag back. It just clipped the stumps, but they haven't come off. It must be a catch. Must have clipped her, her. I think it's caught behind. I think it clipped her glove, and she's got to go early. Young Janaba Joseph. Ava Canning is back. Well, there was a chance there. That was really up-ish, but not taken care of by Ireland, and it's a boundary to start the over. Got enough butt on it, but it was... She just loaded that feeler at mid-off. Look at the concentration. She went through it. It wasn't half volley. Oh, that's nice. That's a good shot. Up and over. And she'll feel very good, Ali Aline, to have a four come off her bat. The half volley was there. Slow delivery, it looks like. She picked it and hit it well over mid-off a four. And that's the difference with that shot and the one before. Wasn't, she didn't go for power, just timing. Well, this one, she's got a bat on. I think it got the top edge, but it should go all the way. It looked like it carried. Just have a look at what the umpire says. Having a boundary check for that. Oh, no, yeah, one bounce four it will be. Well short of the whoops, and that's the confirmation. This one up and over from Matthews. Regal from the West Indies, captain. Classy, classy. My God, it's one of the best shots we've seen from her. She does love that back foot punch. Getting enough on the tours. This one's over pitched. Not quite timed, but timed well enough. Hit over that mid off, mid on fielder on this occasion. So showing that she can score on both sides of the wicket, Shakira. Not getting into the best position there, losing her shape, her shape a little bit. But still made good enough contact to clear that mid on fielder. This one's short and hammered off the back foot. 
from Matthews. She's looking every inch the number one all round in the world, especially in this match, picking up that hat trick earlier as well. Continues to show her all round prowess. Back of the arm again. This one takes the outside edge. It's gone quite fine. Will it get to the boundary? It does. So yet another boundary here. 11 from that Kelly over. 55 for one. Yeah, this one is placed to perfection from a skipper, Haley Matthews. Boy, what an innings this is from her. Short delivery that time from Amy Hunter. And it was so slow, Skipper Matthews had enough time to rock back on the back foot and choose where she wants to hit it. Split the long on and the mid wicket to perfection. Yeah, and just if that one wasn't good enough, have a replay, a carbon copy of that first four from Matthews. I reckon young Amy Maguire is probably saying to Skipper Matthews, let me see if you can do it again. Well, she did. Same exact area, same result. Oh, and she's bold. Georgina Dempsey has just bowled a skipper, Haley Matthews. A surprise delivery. And for all of us. I, I didn't realize, you know, I thought it came down on the bat. But it was a beautifully bold Yorker by Dempsey. And that's the, the breakthrough the Irish are looking for. Yeah, swing from Alia Allen. Just wonder if she's gotten bat on that, but it's four being signaled by the umpire. So fortuitous from Allen, but she gets a four runs. She's smiling because she knows she's lived on edge all innings long, and somehow she manages to survive. Unlucky for young Dempsey. Good bowling once more. Yeah, Allen goes up, she goes up and over those feelers in that inner ring. So taking this total down now to one required from 12 balls. They've seemingly managed to stop the Irish from winning the game as well. I think that's very important. Every time they've had an opportunity, they've won. Well, Chanel Henry does the job. Says no to Leah Allen. Another day, another time for you. She finishes off with a four runs. And most importantly, they've managed to win. They did speak about consistency. And they've shown consistency and improvement. And there is that lift of the trophy. Well done, West Indies women. They all smiles around. Well done to the...